In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to express interest in the Yoruba language. There are different ways of expressing interest in different languages and you know, you will always want to express your interest in whatever language you are actually communicating in. And this will actually serve as a basis and a structure for you to construct sentences that goes in, in like a manner like this. So you want to stick to the end of the video. So I will show you how to express interest and also how to turn a word upside down and use the other uh, side to also express interest as well. So uh, let's go into the video right now. So in Europe, in English, if you want to express interest in English, whatever it is that you want to do, what you want to do, you say want, want, W-A-N-T. But Yoruba, that want is just fe, fe, fe. That is what it is in Yoruba. So it is fe, fe. So mo fera moto, mo fera moto, mo fera moto. I want to buy a car. Car in Yoruba is most often called moto or oko, whichever one is more convenient for you. But moto is perfect. Mo fera moto. I want to buy a car. And then if you want to say mo fe bin. Igi bin is to plant. So, and if you look at this very well, fe actually combines two English words, which is want and to. So, fe is want to in English. So, mufera moto, I want to buy a car. And in Yoruba, you know, English sometimes precede a vowel with a to show it's one or put s in front of the nan to show it's more than one. But in Yoruba, Yoruba would just we, we disregard A or whatever the case may be. But if it's more than one, Yoruba will just precede it with I want to signify that I want mot, I want motto, I want. But in this case, we are not talking about plurality in this video. Hopefully, we will do that later on. So, Mofeg uh, Bin Igi Bin is to plant. Mofeg Bin Igi, I want to plant a tree. And if this had been I've, we we want to plant it, you know. I've, I'm only using high in this uh, scenario, but it can be more than what you alone want to do. It may be what you or some other people, you alongside some other people, might want to do. So this will be we want to plant a tree. It should be affect me, Iggy. Affect me, Iggy. If it is you want to buy a car, you want to buy a car, it should be ofe la moto, ofe la moto. Affect being iggy, if it is we want, affect being iggy, we want to plant a tree. Ofe, 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 ramoto, ofe, ramoto, you want to buy a car. So, you know, understanding the narrative voices, uh, you know, as I've always used to say on this channel, understanding the narrative voices is actually German to understanding any languages, any language in the world, and you know, the Yoruba language as well. It's part of the lang world languages, so that's why I did. I think I've did two series of narrative voices on this channel. I did one few years back, and I did one recently, where I even explained it extensively by dividing it into, into four series. So I think it will be very, very uh, crucial if you get that video. Watch all the series, the four series. It's interesting actually. If you watch the four series, even even if you don't understand, watch it again and again, and then you come back to this. You could we have a perfect foundation. Of the Yoruba language, and you'll be able to independently construct sentences on your own as well. So, uh, I want to buy a car. I want to plant a tree. I also have I want to take a picture. I want to take a picture. And we also, if it is if it is they want to take a picture, if this one is not, I if it's they they want to take a picture, it will be more fair. Yeah, I wanna more fair. Yeah, I wanna. So, if you want to say, I want to speak with you, I want to speak with you, I want to speak with you is more fair by a sorrow, more fair by a sorrow. I want to speak with you, more fair by a sorrow. If it is, I want to speak with them, it will be more fair by more sorrow. If it is, uh, I want to speak with him. Mofe ba sorrow. If it is, I want to speak with them, it will be Mofe ba mon sorrow. If it is, I want to speak with you, it will be Mofe ba o sorrow. Mofe ba o sorrow or Mofe ba e sorrow. Whichever one. Mofe ba o sorrow or Mofe ba e sorrow. And we also have, uh, going ahead, it's, we, we can now turn this, uh, this, we can turn them around, actually. I turn them around. 
in the other direction so instead of i want to buy a car you can say it's a car i want to buy maybe you just responded to someone it's a car that i want to buy and you look at the structure here this one is moto ni mofera moto ni mofera it's a car i want to buy moto ni moto ni that it's a car that's what you are saying here mofe i want to but this mo mofe i just join it together but you know it is this mo is signifying high but if it's you are more than one it will be moto ni afera that is it's a car we want to buy if you are, if it's more than one it's a car we want to buy so moto ni afera but if it is it's a car they want to buy it's a car they want to buy it will be moto ni mo se ra so that is for that and you know turning this one as well it's a tree i want to plant it's a tree i want to plant it is igi ni so looking at it you know that the noun comes first and then this ni comes after and then expression of uh your pronoun and then interest which is want which is fair and then the verb comes last so it's a tree i want to plant and we also have uh the third one i want it's a picture i want to take but if you are in a group you are more than one it's a picture we want to take it will be i will run a affair yeah i will run a affair yeah i will run a affair yeah and if it is it's a picture they want to take it will be i will run a one fair yeah so that's for that and going to the last one uh it's a discussion i want to have with you and um, my favorite by so sort of uh talk yeah speak and speak discussion talk in yoruba is solo speak is solo discussion is uh, is also oral and then you know uh talk is also solo so it's the same thing in the yoruba language so uh it's a discussion i want to have with you so our name of a bias or means you know word word so or word or discussion so or on him of a by so of course this one i want to speak with you and this one it's a discussion you know also in english you actually have to change this you can't say it is speak you can't say it is speak i want to have with you so you have to you know use the one that is most suited for the occasion and that's why in yoruba as well we first use sorrow which is to speak which is to speak but in this one we use oral discussion is oral oral but of course it is also the same thing it's just when you have spoken it when it when you spoken it out that's when it becomes sorrow sorrow so it's almost the same thing but the usage is what just differs a little bit so oral ni mofe bae so it's a discussion i want to have with you oral ni mofe bae so so if it is if if it should be oral ni afe bae so it will be it's a discussion we want to have with you if it is it's a discussion we want to have with you to be our name a fair bar so but if it should be it's a discussion we want to have with them it's a discussion we want to have with them it should be uh if it's it's a discussion we want to have with them it should be our name a fair bar more so our name a fair bar more so over near feba more so you will use one instead of this a over near feba more so and so this is how to express interest in the yoruba language and if you have any question you can put it in the comment section and i will respond to your question and if you want a personal uh, lesson of course i uh, i can take you virtually on personal lesson and i hope you've been able to learn a lot in this video this is uh learn yoruba online and hopefully see you in subsequent videos thank you